But either way, we are set up here for game number four, and I'm making sure that everything's set on my end. It looks like that's all correct, so we're going to go ahead and get into Dragonshire here. And this could be the win for the Sith, and we might see the Sith take over the universe, or it's going to be the Jedi taking us to a game number five and giving us a uh, not so anti well, I wouldn't say anticlimactic. It's not like it's a 3 0 and it's, you know, we're done in three games this evening. We got it, we got something on our hands. So it's uh, one to two when it comes to our score. And Dragonshire, top lane, Rex our priority. Yeah, pretty, pretty big powerful. here. Yeah, Nintori, also the Viking player, right? Can definitely pick it on this map. Um, Valimar, Samuro player, definitely could see that. Mm -hmm. I'd really Ooh. like to see an ETC ban. Um, it could be me just speaking on the fact that I hate seeing him every single game, but uh, it mostly it will open up the draft. The character does a lot for comps, um, enabling you know enabling one shots and the potential to just always have a disengage. Um, so I'd like to see him banned. I also think that in the current state of the game, the fact that he constantly has armor as a tank is is something <laughs> that people sleep on um yeah, just 25 percent resist is pretty good you know um i don't know I, I it's like every time he gets through he's going to get picked so if teams are gonna allow uh that to happen jesus this fucking spider just landed on me that was weird oh jeez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah i'm sorry spider etc yeah. uh <laughs> Yeah, if, if they're going to keep letting ETC through, then, like, figure out a way to beat it. Like, it's just dominating right now, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, is, is my point. Control, harassment, self-sustain. It, no, it's all there. No, I agree. I agree with you, absolutely. Um, like, oh, what's, uh, his, we what's his weakness right now? You got to change Curse bullet. <laughs> it, yeah, dude, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's so disgusting. I'm sorry. Um, there, there's actually, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of, like, I mean... Rainer's actually, if you can get like a penetrating round off power slides, that really is a hindrance into him. Um, something that can like dive into them, like a Nubrex, actually pretty good as well. Like the Burrow Charge plus the Impale is really annoying. Um, Malganus, I think, is actually decent as well with the Fell Claws as well as the Night Rush. There's a lot of there's a lot of good options. You know there, who's the? I I got it yep. actually. The Hawker. Okay. Okay. No yes. one plays the Hawker. No. But he's so Which actually, good. This is a great map. This is a great map for him. He he fell off for some reason. I don't get it. I remember I used to farm ETCs with the Hawk. Actually, speaking on it, because <laughs> they 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 play like they're impenetrable because they can slide away, right? They can dub you away. But like, if you fog of war uh, an ISO on them, or if you you know f I, uh, ISO from a brush and it connects on the ETC, they they turn into like clumsy little cows. You know, it's like. It, 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 all, everything that they know immediately turns off and now all of a sudden you know you can just whack them out of the game so maybe that's what it is like i think that i'm actually now that i'm thinking about it that's what i'm the difference is in this landscape of heroes of the storm and what the landscape looked like when i was playing a lot more was these off lanes and these solo laners aren't generating cc or threat so you know mm -hmm. in my world we played leorks we played yeah. Blazes. We played Dahakas. Like, oh these are God. all characters that farm ETC because Lior can entomb and then eventually you get silence into him, right? Like Blaze can can oil him. And then mm -hmm. if if for whatever reason he decides to W away, then you know he has to either slide or you know you can hit a you know you can hit a fog warp charge, for example, right? You line up CC, yeah. you can blow him out. Um uh, yeah, I guess that's. I, I'm starting to see that now. There's a really, good, there's a good pick actually. Porky, that's a really good one. Thrall is very good versus ETC as well. Yeah, I, I actually, you said Blaze, and I just looked back and I was like, holy crap, <laughs> it's insane how quickly Blaze has fallen like to the wayside all of a sudden. Like, I feel like I saw him for like maybe three months ago. It was like in every single game it was constant blah 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 and now it's just like he didn't like he didn't have any massive changes or anything like he's just he's just like all right whatever bye like you're done that's it's now it's now chen it's rexar it's thrall like leork here and there malthiel it's just it's weird like how quickly it changes and like what the priority is because i like i see no blaze whatsoever in, in in the games i cast and even in the games i'm playing and it might it might be because uh it, it, like 
players are typically play towards the things that are being played, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, when, again, back when I would play a lot, Blaze was heavily prioritized. So everyone's like, oh, like, I should probably play this, right? People are playing it. I should be playing it. Um, but I will say with, like, him in general, he's a very weak solo laner. Um, yeah. But he's very strong at team fighting, right? So yes. it, it's like it's like if you make the League of Legends comparison, if you were to play off of your top lane side, right, you would put all of your focus into your other lanes because you know that no matter what items your solo laner gets, he's going to be effective, right? And that's Blaze in a nutshell um, as the king and queen here are excited for game number four on Dragonshire here between the Jedis and the Sith. As we see on the left side, the Jedi's are going to be rocking Legacy on that Sukov, Valimar on that Chin, Trimmer on the ETC, Got Filth on the Mev, and Kelsier doing a little two step on the Rainer. On the right hand side, we got the members of the Sith up two in our best of five series. We've got Nintori on the Anduin. We're going to be seeing Jachuggy on the Joanna. We've got Vesper on that Thrall. Porky will be on the Rexar. And Troy is going to be on the Hanzo. So uh, once again, actually, so it's going to be Thrall, not in the solo lane. Going to be going into that ETC, as you talked about. Um, I was kind of expecting them to play solo. We actually also see them going into, ooh, Misha Bear going down right there. But we actually see Rolling Thunder for the uh, Rexar player, or excuse me, for the Thrall player, which is which is something I've been seeing a couple people picking up here and there more often, just to be able to get the extra sustain off of that as well. And I believe it gives you an extra charge. It's just lightning bounces, it not bounce, It bounces an additional time. I'm not really yeah. super fond of this talent, honestly. Uh, this is not a game where <clears throat> I see Thrall auto attacking a lot, uh, so I would I would have rather seen you know the double double Q or even Rolling Thunder, uh, the the stackable you know increased damage on Q. It's like oh, you mean it's, you mean the the trash or, lightning or crash yeah, tra crash that's lightning it, crash lightning me? sorry yeah so, <laughs> yeah trash lightning. Uh, I was never a player that could play the talent. Uh, like I remember one time I played it and it was like a forty minute game and I had three stacks. And we see Ooh. a pause coming out. Yeah, it's 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 a little rough. Uh, I've had games where I've casted, um, and Tori's fingers fell off. Okay, all right. Well, and Fair. they left game. <laughs> no, I've actually I've had games where like my chat will legit count if someone picks Trash Lightning. My cat, mm -hmm. my chat will sit there and count how many stacks they're currently at throughout the entire game. Yeah. It's just like, they're getting there. They're get Echo the Elements, I would say, like, between the two, Echo the Elements and Rolling Thunder are both good options. I like Rolling Thunder in the solo lane matchup because you typically are going to be, you know, autoing into yeah, each other yeah. quite a bit. In this in this landscape, I, I, I see it, but at the same time, I don't like... I think it's going to have good self-sustain over the bottom lane engagements, but otherwise, like, I think the Echo the Elements value would be pretty powerful. Plus, right. if you're going to be... For if you're going to be rotating between mid and bottom, you might as you, you'll be finishing that out fairly quickly. Yeah, so, this is like a this is a game where they they want to. So we it's it's very funny actually that we were like having this heavy discussion on the etc pick because mm -hmm. this is a game where you'll get to see kind of what I was trying to highlight with answers to etc come to fruition and the fact that like Rexar is a good solo laner who can cc the etc right like an opener form of cc. Uh, mm -hmm. then we see the thrall follow up the entirety of that is hanzo shooting at him and then you know then you have anduin who follows up a cc and then you have bless shield at some point in time in that right and all this the while stukov is standing behind that etc so it's like this is a comp that can deal with the character right we're not seeing it as much anymore but i i really like this draft and if it's executed correctly it's potentially a win but you know there's things like the etc stukov slide just existing yeah. that can mm -hmm. possibly one shot things um especially warden's if cage. yeah warden's the, the Miev is like a huge yeah. question mark on potentially you know game winning or game losing mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the thrall during all of this, trying to walk up an auto attack for that level one talent, like, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, Baja, I don't know about that. It looks like the teams are ready here. All right, we just gotta get it ready from our blue side, and uh, I'll get them counted in here in just a second. But um, yeah, no, uh, really quickly, I did see in chat. It's just, I also see no Gen when we were talking about Blaze. I also see don't see any Genji. It's like oof, yeah, Genji. <laughs> Genji? Genji's one of those. Eesh. Lol. You like playing Ouch. characters that just don't exist? Because I don't. 
Kenji got just pummeled into the ground, and it is it is rough. But um, let's go ahead and get on into game. And I counted them in. We pushed the pause break button. We are back on into game number four here. Sith up two to one. Jedi are going to be trying to take us to a game number five. Camps will be picked up on the left and the right hand side. We are going to be seeing the shrines activating in the top and the bottom in 10 seconds. And this will be our first Dragonite phase of the game as we have two to two in our levels. And uh, level four, not too far off as Valmar doesn't get a kill on the Mishibar on top. Yeah, doing his boss. And here comes the Rexar, right? Uh... I think with Valmar, he really needs to do a good job of just keeping that wave shoved, so that way he can control the, the Misha on the on the objective. Um, but his team's doing a good job here as well, with the side of Jedi's. Start that hard camp up in the bottom lane. They already have the easies ahead, so the priority mm -hmm. on the wave is there. Um, top camp as well pushing in. Good, good, just good map play overall from the side of Jedi's. And we'll see if they're Ooh. able to put some pressure on Chijuggy actually getting pulled out from Nintori. So they're gonna have what's this? Do we know the CD on anyone's pool is like it's like 60 seconds, 40 maybe more, 45 40? seconds. Okay, so hold on, I can double check. Nope, 80 seconds. I'm okay, done. Yeah, I was like, it's I was like, one. it's either 60 or it's 80. That's what I was thinking. But anyways, they now have the 80 seconds, right? With it being down, potentially a new slide combo from the Stukov could net a kill, um, and we'll see if they can play off of that. Uh, really quickly, uh, Chrono, thank you for the 300 bits. Very much appreciate your support as we have the in-house league here, and this is just still sustained. They don't have the channel in mid lane just yet. It looks <laughs> like Misha was able to capitalize on a channel in top lane with Thrall still holding in mid, and I, I, like, I don't know. Like, it will, maybe we'll see the, uh, uh, we'll see the, the Rolling Thunder Valley, but it doesn't seem like it does, does yet as they're gonna try and actually step in. Sounds coming out from the Stukov. Divine Star out from Nintori as well. Got Filth is going to get an Umbra Bind on the one, trying to pull them back right there. Hanzo is working through their uh, target practice at level one. They do have one stack currently. I don't know if they've actually finished. Ooh, wait, really good power slide from ETC. Troy's on an awkward spot as they don't have any sort of agility to get over the wall, but they do have enough healing from Nintori to sustain them through this engagement. And it looks like the side of Sith is going to have to back here and get full, full health. Maybe they may be able to rotate to the top, slow down that Rex arc try to work towards that shrine control, but it is so hard to get Misha off that objective. So um, it looks like he's actually going for the other strategy that he can play versus Rexar, concede the shrine and potentially play for the XP denial, yeah. um, which is something new that, you know, with the new experience clubs, we actually get to see. Best routine caught out. Trimmer's going to miss his slide here as far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the BM. I respect it, honestly. Uh, if there is one thing that stops ETCs from doing well is if, the people that are piling in them miss their slides, so uh, <laughs> a, uh, a a a good little a good little attempt there, but good job from Vespertine to get out of there. Um, but you can see here Valmar, yeah, kind of hopelessly again trying to dominate in the top yeah, lanes, it's... but it's, it's just it doesn't work. It doesn't work, ball. He's losing XP. You realize that, right? Mm -hmm. Misha's just gonna. I guess he's he, he has to be fair. Porky has done a very good job, and look. He's denying the XP here. Valmar maybe opting for it. But I was going to say, Porky has no mana. So there is that. Yeah, he's right? going to have to hearth back at this point. Yeah. Maev? Maybe? No, Vesper is going to be here in time. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's this like... Is to chin chin so rotates, slow. right? Chin, ro chin should rotate. This is this is your chance. Rotate you to mid. You could have made, made, made a snap rotation, helped up my Ev, forced the Thrall out of lane, and potentially get yourself yeah. a Dragonite. I, I, see, I see the angle you're going on this one. I agree with you. That definitely could have happened right there. Power slide from ETC down here. Going to be tanking tower shots, but they've got that armor, and they actually, I think they had like negative 15 armor for one second, but they're, they're fine because they just have guitar solo, and no big deal as they just get that right back, and we continue to see my Ev power. Oh, wait, power slide. A lot of damage on the Vesper, who's trying to make their way back towards the friendly side of this lane. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Tremor, the 3 spray, and they Jesus. just hard back again. Godfilth goes for the channel. This should be Dragonite in their favor. You can channel the Dragonite faster than you channel those points, so that will be Dragonite over the side of... Uh, wait, hold on, Jedi. This is uh, Vesper. Just... Wow, he's got tap. He'll be all right. He'll get a couple... Mm -hmm. Throw a wolf in the wave. Throw his Q out there. Maybe even blood <laughs> for blood the Dragonite. Um... I want to take this as a learning a, a learning opportunity for everyone in the chat. As the ETC player there, um, if you're getting frustrated over the fact that your slides miss once and then the second time you slide and guarantee that it hits, you can always hit your W on ETC. And within that mini stun of your W, if you slide on top of that, you're going to guaranteed hit the, hit the, 
uh, slide, right? So, and I would say in the case of the middle lane, he should have W'd after the pull happened. Oh, Godfield picked possibly. Oh no, no way. way! Legacy, nice. Legacy, Legacy, two hundred IQ. Yeah. Bio kill switch. Holy crap! Wow. Godfield should have died there twice over, but they make it out alive and ten talent tiers on both sides. I'll, I'll just. I'll scrap my yeah. It's I just <laughs> man etc players etc. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Just W before you slide, guys. Oh, wait, Bless Shield just went out. They missed yeah. that right there, and I think they're gonna try and take advantage of that since they know that there's nothing there. They could look for a mosh pit, but no, no, no. They're just gonna go back into doing double rotations and, and getting themselves experience here as they don't wanna lose that what happened in mid lane just lost a little bit of experience right there. But Chen still pushing out top lane. Actually playing a little bit, a little more aggressive post ten right now. Um, it is going to be boars for the uh, for the Rexar, so no uh, bestial wrath from from that Misha bear. But the boars do have a lot of value with their slow, as well as the damage it deals when uh, upon impact as well. Like I think at this point the chin's threatening like the barrel, right? So he can keg um, mm -hmm. if, if if like Rexar or Misha even play too far up. Um, so I think he's using that to his advantage here. But we do see the side of Jedi's getting that hard camp. We're going to put some pressure on this fort. Can't. Gotta make sure not to touch enemy heroes here. Legacy, a nice shove back, getting that 50 armor. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like this should be a fort. I would even try to force it. Uh, Chin picking up the thrall in the middle lane. Probably a, not even a keg W, I was gonna say. Uh, just looks like a pool and a Q. Shrimmer looking for something here. Chijuggy doing his best to condemn him away. Uh, the fort is gonna fall. And I would say overall, a win for them. Possibly even a mid fort. Yeah, mid for it as well. Uh, O'Malley Music, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Very oh, wow. much appreciated. Thank you, thank you so very much for supporting. Oh, the Bless Shield once again goes out just as ETC gets away. It's going to be about a 60 second cooldown under that one, but we do have our objective phase up. It is going to be 13 to 12 in levels in favor for the members of Jedi trying to take us to that game five, but Sith if they if they can get if they can get a good fight here, it just seems like they haven't been able to get a fight. Like It's just they, been they, everyone they laning. Yeah, it's well, it's it's very difficult. Again, it, it comes down to like, can they stack that CC, right? Can they yeah. can they threaten that ETC? Um, it seems like at this point, Jedi's done a really good job of staying dominant, um, being aggressive here. As we see a fight breaking out. Vesper Team doing his best. The Wolf is gonna miss on the ETC. He's able to slide through. Looks like probably a reset here. I'd have to assume Vesper Team or. Yeah, he's, he, his, his ult is down. I don't know if he blood for blooded there or not. Um, I can look. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, so no, uh, no. I didn't hear the crunch, so he probably had that yeah. going. Uh, Barrel it's, coming it's out on oh. Ntori. Chijuggy, not, not necessarily the target you want to go for. Dalmer doing his best to get out of there. Light bomb. <laughs> Light bomb. A little late. Yeah, some 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 Flesh buttons shield. pressed a, a <laughs> yeah. little late. Yeah, if they, if they got that engagement a little bit, like, five seconds sooner just in yeah. the lane. I think that would have worked out for them. But Jedi got some great pressure in through bottom lane with these Siege Giants and Catapult. They're going to have to rotate the throw. Excuse me, to come down here as they get the interrupt. Nice, though. Nice, nice fall to the Warden. Umberbine pulls them in. They get some healing. Gotfield is going to be... Oh, Hansa rips an arrow, but... Zoning Mosh Pit just coming out. Everyone's going to start dancing under that one. Lurking arm from the Stukov underneath the Hanzo as they power slide back. That's going to be the Leap of Faith from the end to keep them alive. Vol uh, Warden's Cage comes out from the Maiev as that will be Rexar going down to the Chen in the top lane engagement. That will be Thrall going down as well. Earthquake comes out from the Thrall trying to survive Slide? through all this power slide. No, it doesn't catch the toe to Chuggy. And it, wait, is there enough? To, what? They're just, oh, the double root. Get around Ooh. that. Oh. Really Tower good. Tower damage. Really good play. Really good play there from the side of Jedi, honestly. Excellent execution. We obviously have to admire Valmar getting the solo pick in the top lane. Probably something had to do with the top objective there. Rexar overstepping. But overall, really good positioning. You know, Trimmer, while that was uh, somewhat of a zoning mosh, uh, two people did end up walking into it. It forced Anduin to pull out uh, uh, Troy, right? The Hanzo mm -hmm. was caught. Um, to dodge that slide from the ETC and, and positioning wise really good and they're using this early advantage you know three levels it doesn't matter what type of draft you comp uh draft you've comp you've drafted uh three levels up you just you're just stronger right as you see Misha's mm -hmm. fallen Chijuggy playing in potentially going to take a lot of damage from this Dragonite the barrel is coming out okay. on the Porky Looks massive shove came out Hanzo rips an arrow they're going to get a huge oh. stun but 
the thing is, Rexar ends up going down right there. Dragonite just now goes down. They actually do have an end condition through bottom lane if they really want to. Got Filth was positioning like they were going to. I don't think they're actually going to end here. I think they're yeah. just going to leave through bottom lane. Okay. I, I thought they were legit trying to end, and I was like, I mean, maybe you can. I mean, the boulders are really the only big defense, and there is, you know, the increased damage the, the core does, but I think seems Dra like they're going to back off right. What's the Dragonshire yep. mechanic? Do you uh, it's it's two large boulders that, that fly out that stun you for, like, two seconds. They're pretty it's, good. It's, like, this is one of the yeah. better... The better uh, um, keep it. Do you know? I do you know what I, I learned today? The Black Hearts one, which I actually think is hilarious. It, it sends out bombs that I believe damage you, but it also like it junk rat, uh, like bounces you like very very far, and you can kind of angle yourself. Like, I was watching someone else play it after I finished playing my game on their stream, and, and they were like purposefully getting hit by it and then bouncing all the way into the enemy nexus and then getting knocked out of that as well. Because <laughs> core mechanics. So, um, yeah. Either way, it's, it. It, Black Hearts, Black Hearts is kind of interesting, but I, I do like this one. Um, it does it does really force the enemy team to reposition and get away. So we'll see what happens here. Is they just really want to just drink under Chen? They find the pull onto Misha. That's gonna be one kill right there, or kind of a kill for them. They do have a massive shove. It didn't connect on anyone. Enough to share coming out from Valimar. Seventeen to fifteen. They're looking to play with this advantage here. But I don't know. Okay, no, they're gonna cycle to mid lane and try and push this in, or no, they're just trying to get out. I, I'm not sure how they're playing this right now. They're gonna tank tower shots, which is a lot of damage. Boars are unleashed by the Rexar. Light bomb comes out as well. Maya drops the Warden's Cage. That's gonna be the Wandering Keg and a more defensive tool, if anything. That's gonna be a massive shift from Stukov. Chen trying to drink through this pain. Misha Bear comes through with the charge. A lot of damage onto them. They're gonna be going down as Jachuggy's trying to step in with the Condemn. Valmar tanking a lot of the damage here. Power slide in from the ETC. They had Mosh Pit, but don't think they had the angle they were looking for afterwards, and it looks like like they're gonna what hanzo goes down this hello? is what three levels looks like right here baja so many health bars so incredibly low but they just mm -hmm. don't have the damage and kelsey are on the side here oh, got death. the angle from the rainer may be able to pick up to porky doing his best there may have actually re-engaging as well probably a mid fort possibly a dragon coming off for the side of jedis from that fight but yeah, just raw, just raw numbers. Like, how in the world did they just lose that fight? That was everything went right. No mosh pit. The Vera was bad. The Mayev had to cage defensively. Investor team caught out in the top lane here from the chin. Uh, get kicked in the face, son. He's down. Now <laughs> we have a potential core ending dragon. Right? There's no thrall. That's a, a, a very essential part of mm -hmm. the defense for the side of Sith. Um, We'll see. We'll see how they position here. Maybe, maybe a fort. I know this is like Dragonshire, right? Like this is a map that typically is one on the tail of a Dragon Knight, right? Yeah. Um, it's very hard to core, as you see, an all-in engage actually breaking out on the bottom. Legacy doing his best to get out of there. He is able to walk out of there. That level 16 talent and a mosh pit connecting on the two. Oh. A nice condemn coming out from Chujogi. But it looks like Nintori still caught out of position here from that NT ETC, able to walk away. Got Filth trying his best to get a pool, unable to connect. Maybe Vespertine going down. Earthquake's gonna fall out. Vespertine caught out of position here. Pulled out by the Anduin, but the Dragonite on the core. Will this be enough? I don't know. This is the core dealing damage. You can see those boulders coming out. No one really getting hit by those. Core health is falling rapidly. Dragonite does go down. There's going to be a kick over. That's going to be such a split fight as the Wandering Keg is on the right hand side of our screen. We actually have got Phil getting very low as well. Vesper is going to be split so very far as, as we actually have the Thrall going down right there. This is Chichuggy very low as well. I think they ripped a Blessed Shield. No, they actually, it was on cooldown for the next couple seconds. Misha goes down. The members of the Jedi clean up the Sith. Light Bomb on the Nintori. You can actually see those boulders just stunning them for two seconds right there, but they find the Nintori kill. Porky's the only one left. They're looking to just get rid of the entire team. Massive shove into the keep, and now they turn and say, this is now our core. They wipe the enemy side, and they take us to a game five. GG. Well played. A traditional Jedi versus Sith situation here. Down to the wire. Everyone's backs to the wall. Mm-hmm. We're going to... We're, we're heading into a game of Revive. Yeah, Maka and Chad are already just like, let's go game five. <laughs> I'm with you on that one right there. I want, I love a good game five. This is going to be exciting to close out our series this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and find out what they're going to do here for their final map. And uh, we can talk about some of the stats and just yeah. some of that last game. Like, I, I'll be honest, like it was a strong composition from Sith, but it just, it just constantly fell apart. Dang, Chen had top damage. Would you have guessed? 
I guess so. No. Nah. No. Mm, no, he, really. get, he gets a beat on Misha. Like, his, it's like a padded stat. It's a padded stat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you sometimes get those padded stats, and then that's one of those cases where, like, yeah, Ch- it's, it's, Chin yeah, got to yeah, hit I, Misha all game. I, I follow you. Or, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> or his barrel actually just does a lot of damage. His, his barrel is just AKA okay. No, it's zero. Actually, it does deal damage. Damn, it deals damage? It deals 59 damage? I actually didn't. I didn't know Chin's barrel did okay. damage. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Does it make it Oh, okay? yeah. No, there was... Uh, oh, I invited them to party, not uh, remove from party. That's not what I want. Um, When did they... Did they add that? Is that new? Is that always... No, new? no. Keg's, Keg's always done, like, a little bit of damage, which is my favorite thing to, to yell when I'm going in for a kill that um I usually <laughs> don't get. <laughs> yeah, when I when I when I'm inting as Chen, um, and the person has like one little little bar of health left, I'll just be like, "Wandering Keg has damage," and then you kick in and you hit Wandering Keg and hope to God you can get that kill. Most of the time, it doesn't work out for you, 